From the moment Elon Musk took the reins of Tesla Motors as the new CEO, the company was going to move in a markedly different direction than most likely imagined it would. What initially was a focus on high-end luxury vehicles like the Tesla Roadster and the Model S soon became a part to have a much more far-reaching scope. Now Tesla Inc., the company, has broadened its facets to be one that drives energy technology forward in new and more affordable ways through its battery development as well as its solar panel and roofing tech. However, even with all of the other projects that are in effect, Musk has made no hint of their revolutionary electric vehicle production shying away from the forefront of what they do. One such innovation that Tesla is moving forward with is set to change a significant industry as we know it completely. That industry is the trucking and shipping business, and the literal vehicle through which it will see such an evolution is the Tesla Semi. What is the Tesla Semi? Specs, design, and usage. The Tesla Semi is a next-generation semi-truck. It was designed with the same ideas of safety, comfort, and environmentally sound innovations in mind that all of Tesla's electronic vehicles are allotted for. A Class 8 all-electric heavy-duty semi-truck, the Tesla Semi was first announced in 2016 as part of Elon Musk's master plan for the company and officially unveiled in November 2017, where Musk would lay out details and specifications of the future project. The Tesla Semi's rear axle four independent motors give it an impressive 0 to 60 in 20 seconds when fully loaded with 80,000 pounds of freight and a quick, steady 5% grade speed of 60 miles per hour. Safety and comfort have become concomitant with Tesla vehicles, and the Tesla Semi stands to be no exception to that. The cab design utilizes a center driver position that provides a more comfortable seating arrangement and maximum visibility while on the road, paramount to optimizing safety for the driver. Additionally, the design features a low center of gravity to provide far more excellent protection in the event of a rollover. But a next-gen Tesla vehicle would be incomplete without the accompanying next-gen tech that the brand is known for. To that end, every Tesla Semi will feature their enhanced autopilot that will further evolve driver safety while on the road for extended lengths of time. The Semi will accomplish this by featuring markedly more cameras and radar detection devices than a standard Tesla car, allowing the semi-autonomous vehicle to stay in its lane and at a safe distance from others on the road. Further expounding on the safety focus while using autopilot, the truck will have emergency braking, a hazard detection system that alerts the driver of potential nearby hazards, and active safety controls that detect and prevent jackknifing. Though platooning regulatory changes would be required, Elon Musk has said that he envisions convoys of Tesla semis operating in autopilot mode led by a single, driver-controlled truck. The Tesla semi would be offered in two models, one with a 300-mile range and one with a 500-mile range. To account for the necessity of more powerful charging stations, Musk stated that the company would be installing a global network of solar-powered mega chargers. These enhanced battery chargers would be able to recharge a Tesla Semi's battery to 80% capacity in as little as 30 minutes for a continued traversal of 400 miles. Will the Tesla Semi be extremely profitable for Tesla? The Tesla Semi stands to revolutionize the trucking industry. However, what does that look like for the energy company in terms of revenue and profits? The trucking market is worth around $230 billion per year. By most forecasts, the electric truck market stands to grow exponentially in a relatively short period of time, amounting to upwards of 332,000 by the year 2026. Tesla's market for their semi would primarily be North America, with the reservations, which Musk has stated to be at around 2,000, being in the US and Canada, with the price range for the two models being 150,000 and 180,000 for the 300 mile and 500 mile range options respectively. This would equate to roughly 360 million in initial sales revenue. Elon Musk predicts that given the growth forecast for the e-truck market, Tesla could potentially accrue upwards of 100,000 orders within the first few years. Assuming such growth and market share could result in nearly $18 billion in revenue from their Tesla Semi e-trucks alone. The success of the Tesla Semi is naturally tied to the success of the e-truck market itself. Though many forecasts for the market suggest a strong growth curve, what is it that would drive that? Several key factors play into this. At 150,000 to 180,000, initial buy-in for the Tesla Semi is higher than that of traditional diesel e-trucks, 125,000. However, one of Tesla's main selling points for their e-truck is the demonstrably lower operating costs. 
a standard diesel truck will have a fuel cost of around 60 cents per mile with a $3 per gallon price. Comparatively, Tesla's Semi is estimated to use less than 2 kilowatt hours of power per mile, giving it an energy cost of only 24 cents per mile, which is less than half assuming a price per kilowatt of energy is just 12 cents. Given average trucking miles in the United States, this could result in a savings of over $220,000 per year for every truck switched to the Tesla Semi. That sort of savings, coupled with the added efficiency and increased safety that would be paired with the Tesla Semi, are the things that ultimately entice buyers and drive sales. Manufacturing, production, delays. Tesla's coming e-truck is sure to herald far-reaching change for the truck business. However, if Tesla is to take advantage of the projected market boom, it will need to first get its trucks manufactured and officially released for use. Tests for prototype versions of the Tesla Semi have been in effect since early 2018, with a lone truck traveling from California to Arkansas. Initially, the Tesla Semi was slated to begin production by the end of 2020. However, due to manufacturing restrictions from lack of resources, the release has been delayed to miss the original ending of 2020 to start. Elon Musk stated that a significant limiting factor in getting e-truck output off the ground was the current lack of battery production capacity and that the company was allocating their existing battery resources to their passenger vehicles instead. Musk then announced in January 2021 that they were currently in the process of ramping up high volume production of their Tablus 4680 batteries in preparation for an end of year production start. The location where Tesla will manufacture their electric semi will be in its new factory in Austin, Texas. Currently, the new factory will have a quote, first substantial completion date of May 1st of this year, offering that construction will be complete enough to be capable of sustaining operations to some degree. The new Gigafactory will be the production site of the Tesla Semi and the primary location for the upcoming Cybertruck as well, in addition to producing the Model 3 and Model Y electric cars for the eastern half of the United States. Apart from the manufacturing delays, specific local and state regulations inhibit the all-electric semi-truck from even operating at all. Current Australian road laws limit on-road vehicles width to 8.2 feet, which Tesla's semi exceeds by inches. A selling factor of the Tesla semi is its carrying capacity and ability to pull wide loads. So instead of Elon Musk going back to the drawing board and redesigning the entire vehicle to suit the laws of a single country, Tesla is currently lobbying to have said road laws amended in order to allow for their trucks to be legally operational. In its filing, Tesla noted that even on significantly more constrictive European roads, trucks as wide as 8.4 feet are permitted to operate. Ultimately, as much as Tesla wants to sell their semi in the land down under, their primary market will be the North American one. It is stated that due to the market size in Australia, they would likely opt to not sell the semi there altogether if an agreement to alter their current laws cannot be met. Though it has had a rocky road to mass production, the Tesla Semi's current path has been pretty much on brand for the energy company. Tesla has had a history of delays and manufacturing rollout setbacks where their electric vehicles are concerned. That being said, Elon Musk also has had just as much of a record of delivering the goods as he does delaying that delivery. With their Austin Gigafactory nearing a position of operational functionality, Tesla is primed to take the e-truck market by storm. It needs only a few key puzzle pieces to slide into place to begin the Tesla Semi's road to success. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, please check out our channel for more awesome tech content. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.